Our first caller is Chelsea Goad with Space.com. Good afternoon, Chelsea. Good afternoon. Thank you for taking my question. Uh, my question is for Ken Williford. You mentioned that you and the larger team studied stromatolites in Australia to demonstrate finding and scanning microorganisms in rock cracks and fissures. Do you expect that if and when Perseverance does identify evidence of ancient organisms on Mars, that these organisms might be similar to the microbes you studied as an analog in Australia? Well, uh, it's a fantastic question. So uh, we did we did go to this specific location uh, in the Pilbara in Western Australia for an important reason, uh, and that's because in a certain way, looking at the earliest evidence for life on Earth uh, is our best analog to the challenge we have in front of us. So the similarities are uh, are many. The the environment we were looking at in Australia, in the case of at least this sample that I showed you, uh, was an ancient lake. Uh, we looked at ancient lake environments there. Um, and I think it's it's fair enough to say uh, of course, I could go on forever on this topic, but it's fair enough to say that that life um, that we're looking for, sort of a, a life as we know it, uh, would be cellular. That uh, prior to we know from the the record of of life on Earth that complex uh, organisms, complex multicellular organisms like we're familiar with today, animals and plants, didn't evolve until fairly late in the history of the earth after oxygen rose in the atmosphere to appreciable levels. So we don't think anything like that happened on Mars. And so we think it's as likely as not that, that any, anything that was alive on Mars three and a half billion years ago would be similar to, to earth bacteria uh, and similar organisms called archaea, which are the kind of organisms that we think made these stromatolites that we find in Western Australia.